I don't know, guys. I'm... I'm really sad today. Because yeah, I've been listening to a lot of the Misfits and... Um, the Misfits podcast and... All those YouTubers podcasts and... Oh, shucks. I'm not feeling very happy today. Big sad pockets in chat. Because... I'm not being successful YouTuber like those guys, and it seems really fun, and I just wish I could be like them, you know what I'm saying? So what other better way to be like those guys is to play some Russian lifeless planet. Welcome back everyone, I am Peebo, your main man, your little piglet. I guess you could call me a piglet, even though I'm a penguin. It's still, still the same to, to animals, you know, fairies, whatnot. Ugh, fuck it, I'm just gonna jump into it. <laughs> the way she used to smile. Ignition sequence start. Five, Shit! Four, First penguin to space. Hold on to my headphones. Oh shit, there's Earth. There's space. Dude, do I not have like... Man, we can't even like float around on no shit. It's just, oh shit. I must have passed out and we're already here. Easy claps. First penguin onto planet. One step for penguin. Big step for penguin. Uh, uh, penguin kind. First step on planet. And where's my crew? Where's my crew? I don't know. They must have gone first. They've gone to explore the planet. They left me behind. I guess this is my prologue of how I need to find my crew. I, my, my penguin brethren. Uh, my head is foggy. Uh, crap, and I need to do it before I run out of air. Whoa, shit, maybe I should actually read this. My head is foggy, the sound of my breathing, uh, breath puffing in my helmet is hollow and distant. Mani this guy? It's hard to tell how long I've been unconscious, and I'm worried that I might have a concussion. I wish I could uh, lay back and rest, see if the pain passes, but the situation is far too critical. Too critical to sit down and lay and be lazy and not be awesome penguin. To call the hard landing, to call that a hard landing would be kind. We crashed. Maybe the airheads miscalculated the trajectory. Uh, or maybe we just hit the spell of bad luck. Whatever the case might be, this is this is not the paradise they described to us back at home. There's no lush greenery. There's no sign of life at all. And where is my crew? Nani deska, kokodoko, mina. I hope they're uh, just uh, securing the perimeter. And that I was the only a few minutes I need to find them, uh, get their status and figure out what the heck happened, crap, and I don't have, and I need to do that before I run out of time. Oh shit, okay. So we just, uh, first penguin on Mars, we just thought we would fucking take off in the battleship, battleship Galactica, and, uh, if you take off. Isis? Why? When was I working for Isis? God damn it. Apparently I came to suicide bomb this planet. <laughs> we shall be the first to suicide bomb the planet. Or the aliens will be scared. A new objection. An oxygen leak. Oh shit. What? Find oxygen supply. Uh. Oh look! Debbie Ting in background. Wait, 
Can I actually? Oh no, I'm gonna actually die, aren't I? No, first penguin can't die like this. Uh, then we're gonna get there quickly. Ah, jump, J J get up, get up on this rock, jumpy. Okay, we got past our worst enemy, the rock. Dwayne was not nice to us, and now we get to oxygen. Hey, oxygen. Oxygen supply vehicle 8A. These supply uh, vehicles will be sent to the planet three days in advance of the landing party and provide a longer excursions on the planet's surface, however, because the unmanned probes have determined the planet as rich of life and oxygen levels on the planet are near Earth levels, the supply vehicles may not be needed. Well, good fucking thing that they are here because God damn it, I need to breathe. I can't live and be a penguin if I can't breathe. Now, can I, is there a way I can fix me old uh, leak? Oh, oh, do you see that in the distance chat? There is thing on hill. It's time to explode. I knew it. It is me. First penguin on Mars. What a shitty fucking suit though. Just a randomly like, oh, you're losing oxygen now out of your ass. That even at twice the speed of light, your journey will take 15 years. Who are you? Who's speaking to me? That's right. We'll be traveling so fast, our spacecraft will arrive at the planet before the transmission of this interview does. But it's still such a long trip. Oh, interview. Sort of coma. This was back in the past. Or maybe I've just gone mad and it's in the present. This one -way mission, knowing you will never return to Earth. Uh, well, it doesn't matter because I know there are trees. And focused individuals. We all have a deep desire to explore, to go somewhere new. And frankly, we also have few attachments here on Earth. And, bl and our key objective, blow up the planet. Oh, okay. Hey, there's water here, so there are aliens. Let's just hope I don't get probed. I was told that there might be probings. I mean, you know, I'm up to try new things, but uh, probings sounds a bit harsh. I mean, uh, if she if she wants to give me a little probing, like, I need rock. You can push certain objects, huh? Push it. Fuck you, Rock. What have I done to you? You have ruined my mankind, Rock. Wait, what am I? Anyway, you come in with me, Rock. We're going on an adventure. Yeet. Get up there somehow. Ah! Well, that was fucking easy. Or oh, alien of the water. What is your wisdom? All women are not thoughts. <laughs> Disgusting wisdom. This is not what I needed to hear. The fuck? Ah! What? But I I just wanted to sleep. Why is this happening to me? Haha, <laughs> 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 you cannot touch me, Bulldog. Hey, do you see that? It looks like a nose on a man. Hey, look, a book. I wouldn't think you'd be using a book in space. Oh shit! <gasps> For 15 years, I hung in cryo like a bag of frozen vegetables. That's what they said anyway. They played us real good with the story they spun. Another planet, suitable housing for life. Can't believe I fell for it. I actually have to compliment men on the lack of oxygen. It's a real nice touch. Of course they probably just tampered with the meters. I bet I, I bet I could take off the helmet right now. That what this is? A test to see how long it takes for us to break protocol? I'm not some rocket jockey kid playing at being an astronaut. 
What in the world is the point of all this? And where did they take my crew? I need to stay calm. My head is still spinning from the crash. Probably need the doctor. I bet I, they think they're funny too. So can I just take off my helmet? Can I see what my face is? My face is like, <laughs> hello, it is me, Juan. What? But you just said this is Earth, right? Wait, there are no words to emphasize my pride as I begin other our experiments on the new world. I don't understand what you're saying because I do not speak the Russian. Hey, look, I've got a flashlight. <laughs> I'm going to come flash you. I'm going to do it. Someone runs up to you and they're like, haha, I'm a flasher and I'm like, Bitch, me too. Flash. <laughs> uh, no. 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 There you are. Are you okay? Oh shit. Hello. Oh, man, this is messed up. We're back at home. Listen, you're almost out of oxygen. I'm pretty low myself, but I'm gonna give you everything I can. I think there may be some air canisters in that tank. Oh, the fuck? He did. <laughs> what? Access to the Southern Laboratory. Huh. Oh shit, sorry. Uh, no, we're gonna continue this. So where's South? Is this South? Let's go South here. I don't know which way south is, you penis. I'm gonna make it to one of those canisters before I die. I'm, I'm losing air, quickly. Santos, Santos, where are you? I'm losing air. All <coughs> <coughs> oh, this running is not helping with me, with me, air, oxygen. <coughs> Light's going dark, help. <gasps> Shit, you can see through my t-shirt. Oh. oh, I got all my air back. Huh. Let's continue. It's the Russian flag. It is me, Mother Russia. We are in Russia land. I will thank Mother Russia for air ledges giving into my mouth. Now we saw a building over here, so I think that would be the laboratory he was speaking of. Heinz, my good friend, he died. What? I need this guy, there's no more tornadoes trying to kill me, is there? Fuck me. Both parts of the security code. I already found one part. You shit. Hello. Second half of the access code. Oh, there you go. Easy collapse. Oh, I didn't want to jump down yet. All right, fuck it. No more tomfoolery. We're going. Before my oxygen runs out. Right, we're here. Let me in. Research complex. Oh, I fell. Oh. I have a flashlight. Yeah, that's right. I can flash people. Shit, not this again. I just want to sleep. Let me sleep. Hello? Ghost bed. 
just follow the ghost beds and they'll lead you to the way they said. That's what my grandmother actually used to tell me. <laughs> you know, every every month I'd take my uh, my blood, have a bit of drink with me old Russian grandmother, because I'm part Russian, and she would be like, when you know the time is right, follow the ghost beds. That will lead you to victory. Yes. That was word for word. Uh, that was even the same accent she used. Find a way to restore electricity, huh? All right, jump over here. Ugh. Go to access control panel. There's him. Oh shit, it's the Russian anthem. For Mother Russia. Pingu, get it. Yeah, see? It's good shit, isn't it? For Mother Russia. Myself and my own team. I realize I'm near the end. The calls from the other posts have dwindled over the last two days. Uh, it's been hours since anyone responded. I've made peace with the idea of my death, but I wish I didn't have to face it alone. <coughs> At least he died to his motherland's motherland song. <laughs> For Mother Russia. So the Russians found some kind of portal that transported them to this world. Ah, wee oui, wee. Oui. Oh shit. They found the way into some sort of research facility, came across the skeleton remains of one of the former lab, lab workers. Documents nearby indicated the Russians built some sort of portal system that lead here through, uh, though I'm not sure certain where here is. This place appears to be the colony. Like they weren't fully established before something went wrong. Ah. Wait, so I just got here the hard way while the Russians had a secret portal that they could just use willy-nilly. Cool. Uh, that... I read, I read Russian, by the way. That actually says, um... God have mercy on our soul, for we shall die alone. It's exactly the translation. Oh, this is the hospital? The virus is spreading faster now. All our efforts to contain it have uh, so been for futile. We haven't even gig. We haven't given us up hope. However, my colleagues are working tirelessly to deal with the two species. This is veteran, and the challenge is so great, and we will prevail. We must prevail. For Mother Russia. Oh shit! This place looks exactly like my mother's deathbed before she left us. Mama! It sounded like her too. Поразительно! С каждым новым опытом. Ее пробы кажутся все более перспективными. Позже я занесу в журнал больше so, подробностей. Ah, so Сейчас просто нет на это времени. Well, I really don't want to see what's around this corner. If it's got green footsteps, it's probably not good. I'm just leaving. <coughs> mind is playing tricks on me. No shit. You don't want to say the rest of it, you fucking lazy actor. 
I'll finish it for you then. My mind is playing tricks on me. I thought for a moment I was back on Earth. After a hallucination passed, I found human trackway leading out of the underground facility. The footprints glow green for reasons I can't explain. Radiation. I took some samples, but haven't had time to analyze. The footprints seem to lead out of the facility for now. I'm going to follow them, but with caution. God damn it. I don't like the idea of following these footprints. I think it's going to be the death of me. Not going to lie. Ah. Look, I've got to see what's back here first. Ah. Look, I'm just such an epic gamer. You can't even know how epic gamer I am. Hey, look, more footprints. But how did they get through if they didn't break it but with the barrel themselves? These are ghost footprints with ectoplasm. Betcha. Uh. Ghost footprints. Ghost footprints. Gonna go suck a little ghost to footprint. Foot. Maybe there's a way around. What? They are ghost footprints if they can walk through the fucking boulders. Onward. It's saving, so that means that's a good thing. That's good. It's good. I like it when it saves. It means that if I die horribly, I won't lose all my progress. Yeet. And then we just fall and then kill ourselves. Wait, is that serious? Oh no, there's more up here. Like, you find a teleporter to another world and then you, from the way that little cottage town looked, seemed like you... Wait, who the fuck are you? How are you breathing? <laughs> Oi! You listen here, ghost footprints! Oi! Where are you going? <laughs> she had a funny run. Funny run! No, I don't think you're alone on this planet anymore, mate. I do not think I am only penguin on this planet. Hey, this is some bopping chains, brother. Hello. No, cannot enter this door. Uh, describe the hallucinations. Oh my God. Uh, despite the hesitations of our uh, scientists, I Increase the kilowatt output of the electrical generators by 200% without the noticeable environment reaction. The production rate of the moss-like species we call the green fire appears to be quite high and we theorize that it must be must also serve as a source of nutrition for the other planet life on this planet. To alleviate the concerns of the scientists I've returned the generators to normal output but the result illegibly find myself wondering if the abundance of power is not in and itself a determined warfare but our enemies uh, lower their weapons if they knew our reactors would never power down what level of accomplishment uh, would they feel if their flag on the moon, if they could see how back on Earth was the continuous grow of the mighty Soviet Union? Nuclear weapons seem like the clubs of barbarians compared to the scientific potential we have seen here. Into the unknown.